Welcome back. We are here looking on Etoro, looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, February 22nd, 2021. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, on Friday, we did rally above the 20 exponential and then we broke down also beneath the 50 moving average at roughly 90. So give or take roughly 1914. We're trading right above at the 50 moving average uh, between the 420 exponential and the 50 moving average. If you look at technical indicators, they are actually turning around. So if we break below the 20, uh, 50 moving average, we could head back towards these previous lows here and all the way down to 89.21. So yes, most of the technical indicators, they are pointing to lower levels. So let's look at oil. So oil has started to break down. We are trading at 58.99. So we'll probably break down towards the 20 exponential rally from here and head to 65. We have done this uh, several times in the, in the recent months. The 20 exponential has been holding every single time we have been going uh, to the 20 going to the 20 exponential. So what we're going to look at for here is basically a breakdown towards the 20. If it rallies from there, then it's a very good possibility that we are going to head towards $65. Technic 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 technical indicators here are all turning around. So yes, if we break below the 20 exponential, then we have these previous size here at 52 and also the 50 moving average right at the same level. So let's look at natural gas. So as you can see, we found support uh, resistant here at 3.0899. And since then, we've basically broken down. We have been pretty choppy here, but we're trading at the 2.99 at this point, right underneath the tree. Um, so technical indicators here are fairly bearish at this point, but the 20 exponential has been proven in the past here that it is supportive. So I pull back towards the 20. It could be um, could be a rally towards the upside. Break below that opens the door to the 50, and break break below that opens the door to the 200 dollar the 200 moving average. Sorry, at 2.244. So let's look at copper. Copper had an amazing week, um, or amazing Thursday and also Friday. We're trading at 4.06 at this current stage. We are significantly overbought in copper. So a pullback from here should not be, is very likely to be balanced. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement at this, if you say that this is the highest, then we could fall back towards the previous highs here at 3.8, then to 3.788, and then the 20 exponential is right here at 3.7. And that's probably as far as this will go. We are in uptrend. 20, 50, 20, 50 moving averages have been proven to be very supportive. But this is a very, very nice move for copper. It hasn't seen this kind of move for a very long time. But it's getting, it's getting overstretched. We're getting very um, oversold here. We can also look at the Bollinger Band. And you can see that we are way outside of the Bollinger Band. And it's more likely that we'll fall back towards the middle here before going higher. So let's look at gold. So gold is, well, having a very, very, very hard time. So uh, we are in technically in a downtrend. We have a upper resistance line right here. We have another one right underneath that. But rallies up towards this level here at 1900 that is probably as far as gold will go in well a at all at this point we have another support line underneath which is around this area here here we take so we could be heading towards this support line which is down at roughly 1680 so that's probably where the gold is going to go to you can see that every time we go in rally towards the 20 exponential or the 50 it basically breaks down so people are basically taking advantage of these rallies and basically selling them 
And as long as that is the case, as people are willing to sell it instead of buying it, we are going to see a continuation of this downtrend for gold. Rallies uh, towards the, the top of this range, they can occur, similar to this one, but they will most likely be sold into in this, in this current stage. Technical indicators at this point are turning around, so we may see a rally up towards the 20 exponential, uh, roughly 1811. So let's look at silver. So we did have a massive breakdown on Friday, all the way down to the 20 in our 50 moving average, and then we rallied. So this is a very encouraging uh, candlestick for silver as we just rallied from the 50 and above the 20 exponential moving average. Technically, the gears, they are fairly flat at this point, but this is a very encouraging sign that the 50 moving average will hold if this market breaks down target long-term target here is 30 uh, 30 000, so that is going to be a long grind towards the, that target so let's look at platinum so platinum did rally up towards uh, 1350 uh, 15 and then broke down all the way down to 1219 just about 1200 dollar level and the 50 uh, 20 exponential moving average and then we rallied again up towards 13 uh, 1300 at this point we're probably going to see a lot of choppiness here it's still barely overstretched we're on the edge of being overbought so buying it here is still very risky pullbacks towards the 1200 level 1200 uh, and the 20 exponential that would be a much safer bet for this market so let's look at pallium so we are trading in in the square which is uh, the highs of 2.5 and the lows of 2.2 and we're right in the middle of things so there are only two areas where i would trade this it is basically at the bottom here and the top here I, we could basically buy it here and sell it here like we have seen several times in the past right here 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 it has basically just been going in between uh, these uh, these um, resistance line and the support line and has been trading sideways trading here in the middle is just completely pure gambling so that's why I just completely stay away from this if we are basically trading in the middle here but Rallies to the upside are possible sells if it turns around. Rallies to the bottom are possible buys if it turns around. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium rallied all the way up towards uh, 2149 and then it broke down to 2111. At this point, we're still overbought, so we may see this pull back to these previous highs here. 20 exponential will move this way, 50 will move this way, so they will act as um, support as well. So that is probably as far as this will go, is roughly around this area here. The previous highs and the 20 exponential. So look at for turnarounds here, and target here is roughly the previous highs. Technical indicators are turning around, so it is more likely that will continue falling in the next few days. So let's look at nickel. So nickel went absolutely parabolical on the Friday session. We're trading at 19,617. We're getting significantly over sold, overbought here. We're at 70, uh, 76 in RSI. Technical indicators are slowly turning around. Uh, pullbacks towards 1900 and it's probably as far as this will go 20 moving average 20 exponential will moving this way so pullbacks to around this area that is going to be going to be a lot of uh, buying occurring at around that level so let's look at uh, sugar so sugar as well gapped up and then rally continue rallying to 0 0.1786 Okay, we are at 73 here in the RSI. Technical indicators are still very bullish, uh, but we are getting very overstretched. If you look at the Bollinger Band, we are way outside of the Bollinger Band. So a pullback towards these previous highs here, roughly 0 0.1675. Uh, uh, that is probably where you'd see buyers come back in and, and buy this to the upside. So let's look at cotton. 
So Cardan also rallied, but we are getting very overstretched here. So we are most likely going to see a pullback towards the 20 or the previous highs here at 0 0.8614. We're going to have the 15, 20 exponential moving this way. So this will fall and this will go this way. And then we'll probably continue this rally. So the 20 and the 50 have been acting as major support in the past. And uh, pullbacks towards those levels, they are seen as basically uh, buying opportunities. Technically, Ganesh, they are still very bullish. We are overstretched here, uh, overbought, and uh, on the edge of being overstretched. So pullbacks at this point are very likely. So let's look at Kakoa. So as you can see, we did rally up towards the 200 moving average and then stopped. So that, even though there's a good rally, it is not an encouraging sign that we are going to see this market completely turn around. If we have broken the 20 and uh, uh, the 200 moving average and, and, and started trading above that, then yes, then we could go higher. But this is just a hopeless market to trade. We can see that we are trading in between the highs here of 2.8 and the lows here of 2.2. And we're right in the middle of things. We're technically in a downtrend towards uh, these lows. And if those break, then we're going all the way down to 2.089. Um, we could see a rally from here and head back toward the upside. That is kind of looks like what is going to occur in this market. However, it's a market I've just come completely stay away from because it's just been all over the place in the last few months actually so let's look at uh, wheat so as you can see we did rally up towards the highs of the bullish band and then broke down towards the 20 exponential moving average at this point it is very difficult to say basically we are where we're going if you look at it long term then we, yes we're in uptrend that is uh, that is easy to spot we can also say that the 20 is very supportive. We can also say the 50 is very supportive. And uh, the highs of the bullish band is very resistant. So it may well be that we'll just see this choppiness to the side because technical indicators are basically all over the place. So they are kind of useless at this point. And uh, if you want to trade this market, then pullbacks towards the 50, that is probably the safest bet for this market and target of roughly 668. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.